my name is Maggie Schobrach. I'm a senior at Iowa State University and I've been involved in Cycle and Alley for the past three years. Right now we're putting out the alley rallies and we put those out on each of the chairs um, before each of the men's games. You see what an alley rally looks like? And what kind of information is on this? Um, the Alley Rally has information about both the team's uh, rosters as well as some fun facts um, about the matchup. Uh, I'm Max Williams. I'm a senior at MIS and I've been involved with Cycling Alley for two years. Well, being a co-chair is mainly to oversee the subcommittees of Cycling Alley Central uh, from events to operations to marketing. Uh, my role is the external co-chair uh, to acquire sponsorship and just stay involved uh, with the community, finding ways to get Cycle Valley Central outside. I'm Monica, I'm a junior here at Iowa State, um, majoring in marketing and advertising, and I'm on the events committee for Cycle Valley. I'm Amy Payton, I'm a sophomore here at Iowa State, and I am an agricultural business major, and I'm also on the events committee. Uh, I got involved in Iowa State uh, Cycle Valley Central because I I love basketball games, I've been coming ever since I was little, and to help make the magic continue. And we're really excited about it, because they'll get really into it with these uh, competitors. I was usually the best. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've seen this season in Cyclone Alley so far? <laughs> well, I think some of the costumes that um, students continuously did dress up into, um, and then the way that they act their costumes, they kind of act like Cy, like you can't see them. sophomore in ag engineering and this is my first year on the committee. What made you decide to apply for Cyclone Alley Central this year? Uh, I just love going to basketball games. They're so much fun. I really want to be part of making the atmosphere as great. Let's see the new roller coaster get going. I think it'd be really cool if we can get the whole crowd to do that one. How many times have you tried to do that? We tried it once last men's game and it didn't really work out because not many people know what it is yet. So. Tell me how it works. Uh, basically, someone stands up front, holds a sign, and you act like you're going on a roller coaster. You just start chugging like the chain at the beginning, and then you just wave the sign back and forth, and everybody screams. And just keep up. Chug, chug. <laughs> Stand up one is the most effective. This is kind of different. Usually people are already up and like chaotic, but it's stand, stand, stand up one, you just start like this. Then you go chaos. It's great.
casual way events. I make my own cyclone apparel. I dress completely ridiculously by all accounts. But I made my own shoes. They're kind of appealing, but um, anything to show cyclone spirit and cheer on my team. That's all I care about. Yeah, I'm Luke Rowling. I'm a junior here, a uh, chemical engineer. So go engineering. Um, this cape here, my grand grandma made for me, my mom. Uh, I got it last year. And then I uh, grabbed a whole bunch of three point signs for the women's game last night. So we're hoping to make it rain for the three point line today. So go cycles. Laurent Dendy. We came up with this idea. Uh, we gave Laurent Dendy, one of our basketball players, the nickname Big Bear. So we decided to go with the bear costumes in support of our favorite cyclone. And so far, we have not lost when we've worn the bear costumes at home. The UNI game, we didn't wear them, so we had to bring them back. So would you say it's your fault that we lost the UNI game then? We take full responsibility. It's, it's our fault. That one's on us. So you're planning on wearing the bear outfits for the whole rest of the season? They're not, they're not going anywhere Until now. Until the round graduates.